E3 has drawn to a close, the exhibitors are headed home, the press is furiously writing up coverage, and gamers are anxiously awaiting the next news drop or big release. As the crowds exited the halls, the ESA revealed E3 2019 dates. June 11 to 13 will play host to next year's Expo, which isn't surprising as E3 is usually held during that second week of June. More than 69,200 people attended E3 2018, only slightly higher than the 68,400 reported in 2017. The E3 2018 attendance numbers nearly reached peaks that the Expo hasn't seen since 2005, 70,000. A large portion of that is thanks to the 15,000 gamers that attended this year through limited public ticket sales, mingling with the industry attendees that included publishers, developers, media, press, and investors. The ESA called E3 2018 a success and talked about how the show highlighted the role of video games in our current culture, Michael D. Gallagher, president and CEO of ESA said, E3 2018 was an enormous success, amplified by the thousands of gamers in attendance and millions more around the world who watched online. E3 2018 reinforced the cultural prominence of video games for a global audience. Congratulations to our innovative exhibitors, members, and partners and to the millions of gamers who celebrated a spectacular E3 with us, even without the gamer pass ticket holders, E3 attendance has been showing slight increases in the past few years, re-establishing a prominent position for more than 200 exhibitors to show off 3,250 products, E3 2018 statistics, there were a lot of things shown off at this year's event. You can get a look at what was announced in our Sunday and Monday press conference recaps, as well as reading our hands-on coverage from the show floor and news bits from the home team. If you want to hear our thoughts on all the big announcements from this year, Now Loading presents our own opinions on the big news from the show.